I'm going to go ahead and uh, test a recording here, maybe possibly post this to YouTube. As you can see, I'm in uh, Minecraft Beta 1.3, so it has most of the new features that are out currently. Um, brand new map that I just created. Looks like it started me out near some water on some sand. I can see some squids over there in the uh, water, one of the newer creatures. And it looks like I have quite a bit of a different tree types and a good place to start. So I know a lot of people make these videos and I know um, they explain a lot of the different things. I'll try to do that as I go and I'll just kind of walk through what I'm thinking while I'm moving around and going to survive in Minecraft. Um, so I think the very first thing I'll do is I'll start looking around to see where I'm at. That's usually the first thing you want to do is just to get a good idea of the lay of the land try to get to a high point maybe just take a look around at what possible resources you have it's interesting on this map that uh, it seems pretty flat to me so I'll just take a look around real quick without moving too far away and see what I have now one of the things that I know a lot of people do is they they get lost pretty quick um, and you can always build a compass to get back to your position but one of the things I like to do is just kind of mark which way I'm going to go. So I'm just gathering some sand here real quick, which is always useful for me for when I just mark things out in the world, um, whether it's using just a tower of sand or pointing in different directions. So I know I've kind of started here, and I'll just put something that is that basically looks man-made. Alright, so something that I'll recognize hey. What's when I'm going on? One other thing I might do here is I might grab a. Sometimes I like to point the direction I'm going to go and start to explore in. So I think I'm going to head inland to see what's out that way. So one of the things I'll do is I'll use a little dirt here to kind of point to the way I'm going. It gives me a good idea of uh, where I'm at. Now you could just pay attention to the sun. Um, which way it goes, you know, pay attention to it rises in the east and sets in the west, so that way you know you're north-south. Um, one thing you might notice too is I am running a Realism HD texture pack, so my game looks a little different than just the base um, Minecraft game. I have been playing Minecraft for quite a while, and I just had finally decided that I'd like to see some of the other texture packs, so I'd loaded one in a little bit earlier just to see how it works. Uh, very important things and when you're first starting out one you know where you're going to be uh, find a good place to start where you really want to start um, you're definitely going to need some wood so I usually grab that pretty quickly um, it looks like in this map it's not going to be too big of a deal sometimes you start maps where there's not much wood at all you have to go really find it and then other times it's kind of right here with you so I'm going to go ahead and grab just enough here to be able to make some tools, make some um, maybe a chest, maybe a crafting block. Let's do that for now. And I'll keep moving. I'm kind of moving inland to kind of get an idea of where I'm at. So it looks like I'm in a pretty forested area here. Let's see these animals that run by. I think it's a little choppy right now because I'm running not only frafts, but I'm also running um, HD textures and I'm, and it's also building the world as I'm moving. So a lot of times uh, when you're playing and you start to move towards the boundaries, you'll see that it, it slows down some. Um, looks like it's going to be kind of hard to get to a high spot here. So I'm going to keep looking a second and just keep going. The other second resource that's pretty important early on would be coal. Um, coal, which you find upon, in the ground and in the mountain areas, is important for making torches first off. There's other uses you'll use it for later on, but um, torches are important because that way you have light at night. And you don't have to just waste uh, the night when you're trying to when you can't see. So if I don't get any coal here soon, I'm gonna have a real hard time because I won't have any light while I'm working. So I'm definitely in a huge forested area. Um, so I'm gonna have to adjust my tactics some here. I don't normally start out in an area like this, so this would be a little different for me to try out. In fact, this is the most trees I've probably seen in any of the uh, maps I've generated, which is pretty interesting. So I'm trying to get to a little bit higher point to see if I can find some, some 
mountain areas where I might find some coal. Uh, back that way is where I need to go. I might have to end up building some type of treehouse in this area. Keep me up out of the way of the mobs during uh, the night cycle. Which is kind of what I'm racing against for those of you who have been so far. There's a day and night cycle. Uh, during the day, it's relatively safe. I know there are a few things that will happen to you. And then uh, during the night, even more comes out. So you have to kind of be careful. Um, hey. Obviously, taking fall damage is not good. But I'm going to start moving here to see if I can find something mountain wise. Here's a good example of how you, I could have gotten lost pretty quick if I don't really pay attention which way I came from. Um, there's, it's real hard to, to see any type of uh, landmarks to know my way back. Right now I do know it's back that way, um, but I can get turned around pretty easy. This is at least a mountain area, so what I'll do is I'll just look around for coal that's kind of out before I just start randomly digging for it. A lot of times you'll find it in caves or in just the sides of the mountain, which makes it easy then, you know, trying to do a, a full-on mining operation. Um, in fact, oh, doesn't look like any there. Seeing some gravel. This is definitely probably the mountain I'm going to use to mine. I'm just got to see if I can find any coal that's readily accessible. And that's probably where I'll start and plunk down my first crafting table and really get to work. It's interesting, I'm not seeing any interesting structure. Uh, I'm not seeing any coal yet. Of course I'll probably go back to the video and see a bunch of it that I missed. That's how it always works, or they'll just post comments in the YouTube channel. Keep checking this mountain out here a second. I'm still just looking for coal. I'm scanning. I kind of move up through the. Here, I'm probably actually going to run out of daylight, which means I might have to pull up in the darkness while I try to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Back to the top here. So, a very interesting map. I have not had a map like this before. So it's causing me a little bit of trouble deciding where I want to start. One of the things that uh, you want to be careful of being indecisive like I'm being right now. Because as you can see the darkness starts to come. And then pretty quickly I'll have to pull up out of the way of the creatures that will spawn tonight. And yet I have no coal, so I'm not going to have any light, so it won't make a very good video. So what I'll probably do is go ahead and cut here a second. I'm probably going to hole up in an area that I feel pretty safe in. And then wait for the next evening. Or, I'm sorry, the next uh, dawn to come. So 